Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an extra special treat for you. I'm bringing you to the plant bodega, which is actually located here in Arizona. It's in Mesa, Arizona. It is where the sagebrush actually used to be, but in my opinion, they took what the sagebrush did and they ran with it. I mean, it is everything here is so nice. The shelves are wonderful. All the plants are so easily presentable. Rare cactus, rare philodendron, like anthurium. They have everything. They also have common plants as well, but this is definitely more of a specialty rare tropical shop. I'll be showing you plants and prices, so why don't you drop down your current wishlist plants in the comment section down below. I will get to showing you everything. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Follow the plant bodega AZ uh, on Instagram as well, and let's get to it. Here is what the plant looks like actually from the far side it is so pretty we have a, i'm just gonna like show you a quick overview so you can get awareness for everything so they have philodendron tortum have some seriously cool begonias i just i don't even know where to start you guys i'm like so severely overwhelmed they do have tortum which I am kind of desperate for, so I might be bringing one of these home with me. They also have $65 Ring of Fires. I don't even really love Ring of Fire that much, but like for that price, are you even kidding? And look at this one, this one is so nice. Got some Philodendron Biliatiers. These are 125. Actually, they're different prices, so we have a small one back there for 95. And these ones right here are 125. Philodendron Tenu. This dude is 85. Amidrium variegata. This is 225. And Epipremnum Shangri Law, 35 US. The prices here are really good. Philodendron Ring of Fire. These ones are 100. I don't know why these ones are more expensive than the other ones. Billy ATAs. These are 125. You guys, I'm just overwhelmed. I. I'm so excited to be here. I didn't come last time, even though they were open. See, this is a place that I just have a problem with self-control, so we're gonna need to be careful. These are pink splash syngoniums. They're $50 and they're really nice. Philodendron subhastatum, silver sword, oh, milk confetti. This is on my wish list. Oh my god, you guys, I'm shaking. One dead. I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> oh my god. Can we read some Oreo? You guys, <laughs> I'm like trying to stay quiet because I am having a conniption. <laughs> Look at these Standalianas. They're the size of my hand. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, the Tortum. $65 ring of fire. The fuck? I'm like shaking. Oh my gosh. Both of those. Oh my gosh. I'm actually having a heart attack as we speak. They have some reptiles here as well. We have begonias over here. Finale ten dollars, autumn ember. Oh my gosh, I might have to bring that. I might, I might be getting plants. Here we have Hoya Matilde. This is thirty five dollars. Some Hoya. Oh, okay. So here they're showing what Devin was talking about. Latifolia, macrophylla for twenty five. You guys, all the prices here are amazing. Shidia numularia, dragon jade, thirty five. Therium arisamioides. It's like a cutie QNC. Oh my gosh. Magnificum Silver. They're a Nervium. Here's a Vitarifolium. This is $200 for this whole plant. Getty Eye, 100. Dadam Glad Hands. We got Pasta Xanum, 160. Gloriosum, this one is 100. Oh my gosh, here's a Florida Ghost. This is one my mom is probably gonna wanna end up picking up. 
mint. Oh my gosh, I am probably gonna leave with some plants, you guys. I'm not even kidding around right now. Up here we have some Alocasia Silver Dragons. Pretty so Verde back here. Up here we have Mikan's, $40, my $40 Mikan's baskets. I mean, the shop just looks really nice. So here, I don't know that these plants are for sale. I'm sure if you give them like a ton of money, they'd sell them to you. But we have this massive Taikon. This was here before. We have this beautiful plant. I actually don't know which one this is. It could be a golden dragon or something similar. We have this Monstera Alba right here. This Florida Mint and Syngonium Chia Pence over there. And then over here we have a ton of these uh, Astrophytums. These are actually pretty uncommon plants. Uh, and they have so many here and they all have names They're so cool and of course these are some more expensive plants because uh, These are very hard to find astrophytum and they are very large size Cactus take a really long time to grow and so because of that They generally end up costing more when you want to buy a larger one you can buy babies for really small Those are like that's an amazing price for such a big one Same thing with this one that is so beautiful. Got some more over here, one a little bit smaller. Here's a $35 one. Crested Euphorbia, this teeny tiny one, you guys, $55. The one I showed you the other day, that's the one that was 200. So here's the small version. This is so cool. Variegated cactus, booby cactus. They have so much here. It is like overwhelming. I'm overwhelmed. Saints very Masoniae. It's a whale fin. We also have this absolutely dummy thick pot of variegated string of hearts. This whole pot is, I believe, 175. It does trail a little bit. We have some string of turtles and some string of pearls. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm literally like shaking from excitement. Here they have a little discount cabinet. These are 30% off. And this isn't a red star. This is the one I escaped, you guys. But like we have philodendron, genevievianium, more genevievianium, a paradiso verde, another paradiso verde, ring of fire 20% off. We have some Epipen and Panatum Save with Blue that are actually fenestrated. Here, you can scan this with your phone right now to follow them. Here we have some Hoya Sunrise. This is $60. Some Hoya Reverse Obavada Splash. Look at those. Then we have some Hoya Carnosa Compacta on this side, $15. Hoya obovada down here, splashy. Hoya australis. This is a cadatum. Over here, we have some really cute little plants. These are all ten dollars. They are so nice. Oh, it's me again. These micans are only fifteen dollars, and I mean they are so lush. We got this. I mean the most beautiful obtusifolia I've ever seen, or orbifolia. Oh my gosh. Cupid peperomias, more Cebu blue, the massive Biliatia. Look at that. I think that's, that might be a Pertusa. Here we have a massive Pothos. And then they do sell isopods and springtails. Here we have Postazanum silver. Briosum, 100. Tons of Brantianum, these are $60. Ethereum Crystallinum. Magnificum Silver, 200. Magnificum Normal, 125. We have a Minty Florida Ghost here for 125. These plants are so big, you guys, for how little they're charging for them. 
Look at these. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Here we have Philadelphia Gloriosum. That's beautiful. Anthurium Vianaeorum. Another Tenu. This is 85. Here we got this big dude. This is Anthurium eroticans. This is only $200. And it's flowering right now. Which is so beautiful. Oof, sexy. Look at this tarantula. Oh my gosh. Look at these plants. Here we have some begonias. We got Begonia futoensis. This is $28. We got Begonia blanchii right here. This is $40. Lots of little chlorineras. Another blanchii, $40. Chlorinera is also $40. Wow. That is such a really good price though for that begonia. I might grab that. Oh, wow. That's amazing. We have a philodendron, Patricia hybridized, or it looks like Esmeral Dense. Lots of these little teeny tiny ring of fires, but also the ring of fires that are down there. He said that he inherited from the last guy, and so he has to charge more for them because they cost more. We have Syndapsis Pictus Silver Lady for $70. I really like this. Philodendron Fibre Catophyllum. It's kind of like a really small, cute climbing one. Philodendron Grace Gracyla. Philodendron Majesties. Look at these EpiPens. Mine's gonna look like this someday. The Billy ties are really nice. Down here we have some more philodendron Florida ghosts. These are 110. The one back here is 125. Mayo eye, Campospotoanum. Here we have Monstera Panati Partita, $45. Here we have some white knights. This one is 200. Over here we have a white wizard. If you guys are having a hard time telling them apart, the wizards don't have any red on them, but the knights do. So this one is just green. So this is a wizard. And this one has red on it, which means it is a knight. Look at that. Wow. Here we have a bunch of the Syngonium Potophyllum Milk Confettis. Syngonium Potophyllum Aurea Varagata. We have a Syngonium Three Kings. I don't think I've seen such an extensive Syngonium setup. Three Kings are $60. We have Potophyllum Albo as well. These are 55. Here's another one. Syngonium Lano Cardi Road. These are $75. Here's the whole wall. Here we have Syngonium Potophyllum Pink Splash. I really like this one. My mom took one up to the front already that she really likes. We have some pink princesses. These are 125. This one back here is 150. They're very tall. And then down here we have some more Syngonium. This is Syngonium Batik. There's quite a lot of them. And then Syngonium Christmas. These are 30. And the Batiks are 40. Here we have the Vitar Folium Philodendron Bipen, $25. This is a variegated heteracium. Here we have Philodendron Bob C, this one is $150. And we have a Anthurium Clarinervium right here. Here is our Glorious. Another Anthurium Clary, this one's brand new. We have Anthurium Amedrium Silver, this is a super big plant. I really like this. Anthurium right here, actually. 150. I'm sure that that's a good price. It grows like the QDQNC, but it's a little different. I really like that. Here's the shop from here. I really like these begonia autumn embers. I think I'm gonna get this one too. Okay, so in here we have some rudstas right next to each other. And we have a lot of different cuttings in here that are for sale. There is a, a ring of fire cutting right there for only 45. 
pink princess cutting, silver lady cuttings for 40, heteracium cuttings for 80, I think a white princess cutting for 145. For 25 right here, we have a Syngonium Alba Butterphyllum. And then we have a ton of these beautiful, like, scapes right here. This one is 100. I like the wood topper on that one. Little polka dot plant and petonia, I think. And then we have a Margravia right here with, well, probably a white knight if I had to guess, but I'm not totally sure. They're just so cool, you guys. Look at this whole setup. And there's the begonia. There's a begonia. There's a begonia. Wow. Maybe I should just get a cutting. What? Well, no, it's not even that much cheaper. It's 45, and the one that we're getting is 50. Then we have some little dudes, some autumn embers up in the front here. Macaulay Finale, Prince of Orange, Midnight Begonias, some bromeliads. You guys, it looks really good. We got a bunch of ficus bromelia at the bottom there. Can I add this to my little yeah. card? Thanks. Yeah, I did. Wow. Mom likes it. I like right this one, there. Mom looks. It's just literally sitting right here in front of me. Look at this. Here's some soil mix. That's really cool. The moss is even wet, you guys. This majesty print. You like the little guy? You gonna get him? I think. I want it's to very squeeze easy to his take juice care. out right you there. I just want to squeeze Don't that. Want. I won't, but I want. Look at the one leaf right Forbidden here. Forbidden gummies. Half half green half mm -hmm. white those are very cool isn't it here. she said if i put it in a window with bright light i can sun stress it a yeah. little bit and get pink yep, on that's here true. and i will do that <laughs> this is like refreshing to see they're both arabescents okay. yeah. yeah oh my gosh look at this little frog I'm looking at a frog yeah isn't that massive this is so much bigger than it's the one huge. i had yeah that's because it came from That's Indonesia so pretty. or Ecuador or something. You're just a plant lady. Maybe. Just a little plant lady. I am. Living our little life. I need a pin. Look at these. Look at these things you got. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at this pedana, mom. I know. That's the bullwinkle. And there's a big tall one over here. Did you see mm -hmm. it? That is a beautiful shot. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. They have a ton of substrate here. Also pots, different soil mixes. <sighs> I think I like the skin care of yours for so long and I'm almost like- Attached to it? Like an emotional- Yeah. And then they have this resident Oria here, you guys. Look at it, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so nice. Is it okay if I show your plants that are back there? Yeah. Cool, uh, they're not for sale, yeah? They have some plants back here, you guys. These ones are not for sale, do not ask. But look at these, they're so beautiful. This is Sony ZV-E10. I can send a link to your Instagram. I love your sign. You guys, they found a prettier uh, ring of fire in the back that had a lot of pink on it. And they were like, do you want this one instead? It's so nice. And I was like, yes, I do. So I'm very excited. Look at all the pink on there. Also, look at this sticker. It's a tarot card. That's so cute. Gosh, and look at all these stickers. And keychains. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I forgot to film outros for every single other place we went to today because I was just like excited and all over the place, but I wanted to film a true outro here. We're getting some plants. My mom offered me to get me a couple plants because everything here is just such an amazing price. I mean, when we came here before, there wasn't a, like a single plant here that was less than like 250 bucks. And now there are some amazing plants here that are definitely wishlist level and some that exceed wishlist level that are literally like 50 to 60. So my mom is getting me a couple plants, which I'm very, very grateful for. She's also getting some plants for herself too. Excited. It was a very good end. We're gonna go get food. I'm so hungry. I'm more hungry. I'm like deceased right now. Very excited. Um, it's awesome. Look at these. You guys, they have like little variegated truncatas here. <laughs> these. Oh. 
Oh my gosh, I'm crying. Did you get their name? Yep, I did. Fun. It is. It's been a lot of fun. Like, um, I've. Yo, so pardon the post-workout, post-sleep eye makeup, okay? But I want to show you an update on the plants that we got. This is like, I think the only store, I got a Lanami eye from a different store. I picked it up, um, which you would have seen. Maybe you didn't see it. Oh, you did see it, but look. Um, here's my Lanami eye right there. But that's not from the store, obviously. This is the only store I actually bought plants from this time. And so I wanted to show you how they're doing. Just to kind of give you an update because we did have a minor, a minor tragedy. So I'm just gonna show them to you. First of all, let me show you what my mom got. So she actually got, and I'm keeping them in a plastic see-through bin with perlite, wet perlite at the bottom. My mom got this. Uh, variegated Epipremnum Panatum Albo. It's probably the prettiest one I've ever seen. Almost like every other leaf is a half. And it's just really beautiful. This was 85. She loves it. It actually has a full white leaf right there. And it's putting out uh, one new leaf right there and then another new leaf right there since we got it. It's been loving the humidity. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, okay. We have my mom's other plant. She got this uh pink oh my gosh it healed she got this pink syngonium tricolor and it had four leaves or sorry syngonium profile and pink splash this was 50. Uh, but you'll notice a leaf is missing and that is because getting out of the car to go eat um the, we had watered the plants well my mom had watered the plants in their bag um and so we got out of the car. I picked up the bag because you can't leave plants in the car in Arizona because it's 105 degrees outside. The bottom of the bag just completely gave out. Most of the plants were okay, but two of them were like really, really damaged. This one lost an entire leaf and this one actually was broken, but it actually calloused. I propped it up uh, and this was three days ago, but I've propped it up and it actually calloused over and it is chilling right now. It is still upright, which is pretty cool. Uh, your plants can heal, but yeah, that leaf got a little damaged. The tornum I got was really, really damaged. The whole, like the whole thing came out of the entire pot. Like it was just like, you can see it's like loose in here. And then this leaf broke in half and this leaf broke in half and this leaf broke in half. And this one um, just got really messed up. So it's literally barely in there. Um, and it we lost a lot of soil. And this was the one I was probably, well, I was really excited for all of them, but the milk confetti in this plant in particular, I was really excited about because <laughs> it's been on my wish list like forever. And uh, she just forgot to tell me that she had watered them and it was really sad. I didn't cry. I tried really, really hard not to because we were about to walk into a place to eat, um, which then we ended up spending like five minutes in the middle of the road. Like I was just scooping up what I could, but I was so sad. Um, so they ended up setting aside another one for me at the store, which I paid for. So I got another Tortum, which is this guy. Uh, so if this one makes it, that will be great, but it's just doing progressively worse since it fell. Um, so I got a second one just because they're like, how much are they? $55. It's not cheap, but in terms of like aeroids, like plants, and especially tortums are usually a couple hundred, um, at least the ones I've seen. So I was like, you know what? Just get another one. I don't want to spend 55 and then take it home and it like dies or something. It's just like, I'm trying so hard to not be really sad, but it is, 
it is still very sad. Um, so yeah, this guy's gonna end up being a little rehab lad. Wizard, cause okay, so the whole bag fell, right? But we had two bags of plants. The begonia and the milk confetti were in a completely different bag, so they didn't fall. Um, but the ring of fire also got bruised just a little bit. The leaf kind of got cut uh, in half a little. The new one. So when I ended up going back for the tortum, I actually went with my dad and Chris, my husband, and I was like looking at all the plants and I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll get a second ring of fire just in case because I know ring of fire can kind of just like go south like really quickly and I don't know, it's so inexpensive there. They actually, when I went back in the next day, they had marked down the $100 ring of fires, uh, 70%, so it was, or 30%, so it was only 70. And again, these are the ones they inherited from the previous owner. But, so I got this one, which is so beautiful. It is. It has so much pink on it. It has so much yellow on it. It's. It's just so beautiful. So I ended up buying this one. So yeah, that's what ended up happening. <laughs> and then here's the milk confetti, still perfect, still gorgeous. Look at that new leaf right there. It is just white. It is just white with pink. The top ones are a little bit more faded, um, but I believe when you give them more light, they actually get a lot more. They come in better, but look at this new one right here. Oh, it's so good. Milk confetti has been on my list for so long. It's one of the only Syngonium next to like the green flecked one that I have just been dying for. And then obviously we have Begonia. It might actually be a Futoensis. I don't know what that is, but I'm pretty sure it's just Gogoensis. Maybe it was reclassified, but this looks like Gogoensis. There was a little drama. I wanted to talk about it so that when I go home and you see I have two Tortums and two Ring of Fires, you're like, what is going on? We just replaced this one because it's just broken and sad and very sad so we're, we're gonna try he is pregnant it's possible that what i'll do is just cut off the bad parts of the leaves and then try to repot it and see if he's okay we'll get a really nice new leaf here hopefully but it is just uh it's big sad it's supposed to look like that and not move but instead it's dead and broken so yeah what i'm gonna do to take these home because i know i'm gonna get questions is normally I actually have been putting my plants in bins and then taking that bin carry on and putting it under the seat. Um, not really doing much besides that. I'll have them hand check the bins so that they don't have to put the bins through the thing because the scanner before has completely messed up my bins, turned them upside down and stuff. But um, what I've started doing is just having them hand check it. Um, they can look at it themselves and whatever. This time I'm going to I'm going to be packaging all these up because they're they're really big. I mean they're pretty big plants. Normally I'm going back with like begonias and orchids, something really small. These are all pretty big plants. My mom's obviously keeping her the plants that she bought. Yeah, so I'm going to be packaging these up as if I'm going to ship them, and then I'm going to put them in a bag, and I'm going to carry the bag through. I've already packaged up the Lanomii. It is completely insulated. It has a plastic base bag along with one of these big plastic, you know, almost like a bouquet holder. Um, and then we wrapped it in the shipping uh, paper. So this one just gonna get put in the bag um, and then I'm gonna put all the little ones around it. So that way when I take it back, it's like, it's chilling. Um, it's completely insulated with plastic. So it's actually maintaining good humidity in there, which you can kind of see on the top of the bag. But that's it for this video. I even meant to do an outro and then I forgot. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out the Plant Bagoda. Oh gosh, what's it called? The Plant Bagoda Co. AZ. Uh, it, it's so fun, so amazing there. It's nice to see that it's not just like an import flip place, which is kind of like what it was before. Even though it was exciting, now it's like an actual bona fide, like, rare plant shop. Cannot wait to go back. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Make sure you check out the YouTube channel memberships. They're only $5 a month. Cheaper than your coffee helps me do stuff like this full time. Don't forget to follow the Plant Pagoda code AZ. I will link them in the description and definitely, definitely, definitely a must stop at location when you're plant shopping. Add it to your list of plant shops in Arizona that are great and maybe I'll run into you guys there. I actually met a couple people who watch my channel this time, which is so fun. I love, I love, 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 love when you guys like, if you ever 
don't recognize me, you are always welcome to come up and say hi. I might be shy, but like I will do my best. But yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next houseplant section. Thank you so much to Botanicas, Kim Klanowski, and Lauren Alexandra for the extra and continued channel support. And I'll see you guys in the next houseplant section. <gasps> Goodbye.